Hi everybody and welcome to this 5 minutes talk video on Dalmia Bharat Limited. In this video we'll be talking about a few points that we like and we don't like about this company. Starting with what we like about this company. First, that it is a leading cement player with good industry tailwinds. The company has been in the cement business since 1939 and is currently the fifth largest player in the country. It is the largest producer of slag and specialty cement with the lowest carbon footprint as a cement player globally. The housing and infra boom can provide long tailwinds for this company. Second are the company's long-term capex and capital allocation plans. It plans to grow its capacity at a 15% CAGR for the next 10 years. 10% of OCF to be returned to shareholders through dividends and buybacks. 10% of OCF in innovation and green energy fund and the balance to fund growth and maintenance capex. It also has a target ROC of 14 to 15 percent. Next is the company's massive deleveraging and that it is getting more focused. From a 8500 CR debt in FIS 15, Dalmia Bharat has managed to reduce it to 3647 CR in Q3 FI 22. This strengthens the balance sheet and makes it ready for the huge capex cycle ahead. Plus, Dalmia has transitioned well from a conglomerate having interest in sugar, cement and refractories to a pure place cement player. Next is its efficiency improvement and its high EBITDA per ton. In the last few years, the following initiatives improved efficiency a lot. First being its increase in the share of blended cement and second being its strategically located units that are close to raw material sources and major cement markets. And third, being the multi-fuel kins to optimize fuel cost. These initiatives have led to the EBITDA per ton remaining over 1000 consistently for the last 3 to 4 years. We at SSS believe that the above factors have enabled it to compete effectively against other cement industry behemoths. Next part is what we don't like about this company. Starting with that, as a commodity business, it has no pricing power. Cement is a commodity sector with no pricing power. So, cement manufacturers have to combat the volatility of raw materials and several other input prices and also variations in the realization price. Ultimately, it boils down to the lowest cost producer who gets the benefit. One cannot charge a significant premium over others in this industry. Next, that it is a high capital intensive business. There is no other way to grow in the cement industry except to increase capacity regularly. And capacity expansion needs a lot of investment of money and time. If demand doesn't pan out as expected, it could develop into a difficult situation for the company. Third is the possibility of low capacity utilization and losing market share. Just like Dalmia, all big cement players are going for aggressive capacity expansion. If the industry demand doesn't meet this expectation, one should expect low capacity utilization for Dalmia Bharat. In the last quarter, they have lost market share in their key markets, which are the East. We at SSS believe that the market share loss was because of COVID related disturbances which have now stabilized. Next are its poor return ratios due to large amortization of goodwill. Dalmia Cement has done a few acquisitions and restructuring in the past that has resulted in higher goodwill amortization. Due to this, the return ratios do not look encouraging. If the company in the future goes for another aggressive acquisition, it could further impact the performance metrics. However, if they walk the talk and stick to their capital allocation plan, return ratios are bound to move up from the current levels. Fifth, being the rising input costs and weak demand which put high pressure on margins. Q3 FI22 saw Dalmia Bharat and the cement industry deal with unprecedented cost escalations. The weak demand scenario in Q3 also prevented Dalmia from passing on the cost rises. But the management remains optimistic that the input costs will normalize going forward. 
with a bid up or down expected to reach Rs 1200 to 1500 in the future. Our scuttlebutt also points out that cement companies are unable to raise prices at the current juncture. How long this will last is uncertain. With this, we end the video. Thank you for watching and be sure to like, share and subscribe if you like this video.